In the middle of October, Chico State discovered that the email accounts of seven university staffers had been compromised through phishing and possibly malware attacks. While this number isn't large, it disrupted campus email communications during the latter half of the month. So the question is how? Well, the compromised accounts were used to send spam. And what is spam? I'm pretty sure most people are familiar with spam, but it's formally defined as unsolicited bulk email. Unsolicited meaning that the recipient has not granted verifiable permission for the message to be sent. Bulk meaning that the message is sent as part of a large collection of messages, all having nearly identical content. Generally, an average user will send you know, a few emails per day or maybe more if they're sending out a newsletter or announcement to a large group of people. A spammer will send thousands of emails per second. To combat this, watchdog groups and internet service providers have systems in place to blacklist accounts of people sending out spam. Because the compromised accounts at Chico were using the CSU chico.edu domain, any email sent from that domain would be blocked by the blacklist. So what's the point of sending out that many emails? What do spammers have to gain? The short answer is money. So let's say you send out an advertisement to 100 emails and it nets you a sale of $10. So by that logic, if you send out 1,000 emails, it could make you $100. Spammers take this idea to the highest level and they just send out you know, millions of spam messages. And even if they only make a small that amount back, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't really cost them anything to send them. So with that all is said, the call to action is this. If you see spam in your inbox, read something that's too good to be true, or see anything that's asking for personal information, just don't click it. For more information on our stories, you can go to theorion.com.